sit-ins of bikes can mean a lot of different things to a lot of different people. There's far more to our service than, than meets the eye. We like to think that we deliver a holistic service. So if somebody comes into us with one issue, but others emerge, we can deal with those. We can put wraparound services. We can also work with other organisations, other partners, to make sure that people get access to what they need. Citizens Advice Liverpool have the biggest reach in the city. We have different sites, we have outreach locations, we have trained staff, we deliver quality advice to people, we're independent. We don't just help with benefit issues. Any issue that's impacting your life, we can help with. And if we can't help, then we can signpost them to someone else in the city. Working with partners means that they can refer to us, we can refer to them, and we just make sure that that person is getting the best support possible by the people most trained and equipped to give them that. What we know is that health conditions and health inequalities are exacerbated or made worse by poverty. And our, our role is to increase household income, help people reduce the debts so they can breathe. And then, once we've stabilised household um, finances, we have another arm that works with people, it's the what next option. There's a whole treasure trove of community activities and services in Liverpool. We're exceptional as a city in the offer we have. So we have link workers who work with people to connect them to the community. And the idea is to, to help people to lead a better, more inclusive life. We know loneliness and isolation kills. So what we try to do in, in offering our, our uh, prescription is to say, We'll provide social welfare support and then we'll enhance it with a wellbeing link work offer. And that's an enhanced social prescribing service. It's like a hybrid model. So we're able to look at addressing real immediate sort of priority needs around people's lack of um, income, debts, poor housing, employment issues, because those issues can really sort of trigger poor mental health, anxiety, stress, low mood. And once those issues are kind of dealt with and addressed and people can see a bit more light and a bit more hope, as link workers, we're then able to really focus in on that individual and what is important to them, what they really want to um, change and how they would like their sort of lives to be different. We provide quality assured advice. We're part of the national network of citizens advice organisations. And what that entails is on a regular basis, uh, that our delivery of service is audited. So we can guarantee to anyone who comes through the door or anyone who contacts us online or by telephone, the advice they get is quality assured. We won't give advice unless we're convinced it's satisfactory advice, appropriate advice, and above all, it's independent advice. We are here for the community, that is why we are here. Our primary objective is to make sure that everyone, irrespective of your colour, of your, of your sex, of your religion, of your ethnic background, of your race, that you get that help from Citizens Advice. One of the good things about this organisation is that we do serve all the community. We're a first point of call for any kind of issue that someone could have. Now everybody knows us for our welfare benefits and our debt, but on any given day someone could come in with, it, with anything that they need advice on. And we like to think of ourselves as, a, as an organisation that if we can't help you, we can find an organisation that can. We would more likely see people who have disabilities, long-term health conditions. But everybody's reaching out to us now with the cost of living crisis. We need to keep trying to find the resources and capacity to help people move forward because it's impacting everybody now, not just a small few. Advice Liverpool, it's one of the oldest citizens advice in the country. I would like to make sure that we're here for the future because we are needed now more than ever. As a charity, uh, we have to make sure that we've got um, the right funding in place to carry on delivering our services and what we do find is that often that is year-to-year -year funding, often we feel ourselves very fortunate if we're able to get funding that lasts for two to three years, so that gives us a bit of stability and ability to plan. If you think of it, the knock-on effect of, you know, if you can help someone sort out their debts, for example, you know, that person may not end up at the GPs and needing prescriptions. And it makes economic sense, doesn't it, to invest in organisations like this. I recruit volunteers and 
guide them through their first sort of initial training until they're just ready to deal with clients. I was a volunteer and then I was lucky enough to get a paid job. The best thing I ever did was walk into a citizen's advice and volunteer. I specialise in LGBTQ plus victim support hate crime. I absolutely love my job and I get a lot of job satisfaction. Some people might think that it's quite a difficult thing to do but I enjoy working with the client to work through those issues and problems and making it really tailored to that particular individual. You can sort of like be a small part of setting the ground for them to move on. I mean, and that's what, it, that's what our role is, I think, like, you know, making sure that there's no barriers for them to stay in an hospital. It's really rewarding to be able to help people who have had a cancer diagnosis and don't know where to turn because we can just have that conversation with them and chat about any sorts of concerns that they do have and basically create a care plan with them. Our values here, they are what I stand for, you know. Our community is at the heart of what we do. You know, every day you're going to be making a difference to people's lives. And for some people it, it might only be, you know, what we would consider a tiny thing. Um, but for some people that's massive. This job gives me a sense of purpose. I feel a sense of achievement. And every day when I go home from work, I know that I have helped someone make a, not even a significant difference, a massive difference to their life. Everything about my job and everything I feel about my job is, is worthwhile. When you're helping somebody to get through something that they found insurmountable, it can be, uh, yeah, it can be quite a satisfaction. I learn and grow and develop every day. We have amazing staff and volunteer teams that work for Citizen Advice Liverpool, and I'm part of that, and that feels really special. Of course it's important to increase household income, of course it's important to reduce debt and get people on a stable financial footing, but real satisfaction can come once that's done when you connect people to lead uh, what for them is a much, much better life. We can represent people who are on the wrong side of an imbalance of power and I'm proud of the fact that we provide that service because it's a necessary service in, in Britain today.